dystopian societies certainly become possible as technology advances, and it could be just a matter of time where robots are the problem instead of helping us with our own. We're experiencing a surge of changes like never before. Unforeseen artificial intelligence could be the end of some jobs as we know it. People you think you know could ultimately end up being some android putting on a show. From robots designed to look and behave just like us, to living inside a smart home, here, here are, are ways, ways robots, robots could take over the world. world. Hey everyone, how's it going? Are you guys ready for another action-packed American Eye video? Let's check it out! But first, make sure you guys like, comment, and subscribe, and hit that notification button for more notifications. AI Drivers How would you feel someday in the future if your Uber driver looked like this? Some believe that Uber intends to replace all their drivers with self-driving cars sometime soon to maximize profits. They don't need coffee breaks or to go to sleep, meaning increased productivity. Google has already developed a new self-driving car that was demonstrated at the Google campus in Mountain View, California. They've already tested dozens of prototypes, and the people at Google believe it will be ready for the public in only a few years. Imagine driving down the street and seeing cars with no drivers in them. Google wants to prove to everyone that their vehicles are safe, and that they could reduce the number of traffic accidents in the future. Android Humans Many people are already tired of having to deal with customer service robots, the problem will only continue to get worse and worse in the future. It's 2020 now, and it might get more difficult to tell the difference between who's a robot and who's not. Recently, Samsung revealed what they called artificial humans. They're designed to look just like people, behave, and interact just like the rest of us. Could it be possible that they're already using this technology to fool the public into believing that we're not slaves to the computers? It's possible that you might be able to confuse an android by asking it some hard questions. One of the earliest robots with AI dates back to the 1990s and was known as Kismet, developed by MIT. It has a similar appearance to a Furby, which we all know were quite terrifying. It's not too far-fetched to believe that this technology was heavily researched to the point where androids could certainly be walking among us. According to one of the companies, some of the new robots could be designed to be TV anchors, spokespeople, movie actors, or even friends. Pet Robots you know you got some problems when even your artificially programmed robot dog doesn't love you. With the way computer systems are able to recreate the way the human brain works, it should be able to meet the intelligence of a dog fairly easily, right? Everyone meet the AI puppy named Abo. You don't have to feed it real food, it doesn't make a mess, and as long as you charge the battery, it should love you back. Whatever you do though, just don't give it a bath. But it might not be as dumb as you think either. The robot dog can move over 22 total joints in its body, is aware of colors, height, and depth perception. It's probably smarter than your average kindergartner. It really has dog-like movements to the point where you might forget that it's actually not a dog. It can take commands, respond to touch, will shake your hand, and possibly spy on you in order to plot the next robot takeover. It would be a pretty cool conversation starter if you got one, but it'll set you back about $3,000. Smart Homes since our lives are becoming more intertwined with technology each and every day, it just seems possible that most of us could end up eventually moving inside a giant computer. It might get a little bit creepy though when your house can read your mind and follow what you're doing. For example, a system will set up that will recognize who's home or not and will turn off the lights if they don't see one around. It might be set to close the blinds in the morning or turn on the air conditioning based on your body heat. Sometimes it just gets a little bit creepy when your home can sense that you're home. People might be tempted to get something like Google Nest, which is supposed to be used for security purposes. But in 2019, Google said that it was investigating some issues of people using it to spy on each other. That was only if you got one that was used, but you still have to wonder, will Google use it the way they're supposed to? With the way Google and big tech companies handle our data, don't be surprised if it ends up in the wrong hands. Robot Delivery Domino's in Australia is taking advantage of future technologies to make sure you get your pizza on time and stay one step ahead of the competition. A robot design that was actually theorized by the military will now deliver pizzas. Some of these are built with sensory lasers to navigate the streets, and they're actually the first autonomous delivery vehicles. Inside, there are temperature-controlled heating boxes to make sure that you don't end up with a cold pizza. This might seem a little bit crazy, but it's been actually proven to be effective. Although it certainly seems like it has potential to take away jobs from your hardworking delivery boy, the CAO says that it simply won't be possible to keep up with the demand. The Gunbot 
The United States Marines certainly thinks that robots could be a future solution to taking people off the battlefield. The MARS acronym is short for Modular Advanced Arm Robotic System and seems like something you really don't want to mess with. Imagine waking up and there are robots with machine guns patrolling the streets. This robot is the US military's latest unmanned ground vehicle that's capable of firing an M24 OB machine gun as well as four fully operational grenade launchers. Some models might even have a minigun. This might be able to keep some people away from the front lines. It's built for reconnaissance, surveillance, and target acquisition missions, as well as built with state-of-the-art technology. Capable of firing 400 rounds of ammunition, it also has night vision, 360-degree visual capacity, thermal vision, and to top it off, it's even got lasers. This thing still needs humans to operate it though. Hopefully no one will program it to kill on its own. More Robotic Animals Here in this video clip, we see the Leg Squad Support System, which was introduced by DARPA. This almost seems like it could be the future of pets. Anyway, it's semi-autonomous, has four legs, and can function as a scout in the battlefield. It can also move enough to reach about 70 to 80% of where soldiers can reach, and it's also called the Alpha Dog. Marines have complained, however, that the Alpha Dog is just a bit too loud, and it would easily give away their position. There is quite a bit of potential for robots to make it on the battlefield, but stealth is always a primary concern. At this point, they're mostly considered to be an electrical reconnaissance unit, but if DARPA can tweak it just a tad bit to make it more quiet, who knows what it's capable of. Synthetic Blood Would you consider selling all your blood and replace it with some kind of nano fluid that can turn you into a part machine, part human hybrid? In case you didn't think that one day in the future, artificial creatures would be able to take over the world, let us introduce you to DARPA's synthetic blood. Imagine that someday in the future, people will no longer need blood from donors anymore, and that we can simply make it in a laboratory. Battlefield medicine is certainly advancing, and with research from DARPA, we could be living in a world where people are made up of synthetic blood. Nanotechnology is becoming a big thing right now, and there could be a way to cultivate red blood cells. Many details about this operation are being kept secret, but we know that they're looking into it. Transhumanism As technology becomes more and more advanced just like machines, humans will want to get rid of old parts and replace them with something new. Are you getting tired of those knees that don't bend properly? Or don't really feel like carrying a baby inside you? That's okay, just get a machine to do it for you. Scientists are getting pretty close to the point where animals might not even need a mother to reproduce. And if you're born from a machine, doesn't that sort of make you part machine in a sense? The exoskeleton DARPA is developing will give people unbelievable amounts of support to their joints, which will allow them to carry extremely high amounts of equipment. Your legs could have motorized actuators that help you walk faster and take the stress off your joints. It could be just a matter of time when some people might actually have artificial hearts, which could help them potentially live for eternity. Nanoviruses so you're probably asking yourself, if they can make synthetic blood, could they be possibly making robot viruses which bring on the zombie apocalypse? Your body relies on electrical impulses from the brain to move, but what if that electrical source could come from somewhere else, like a computerized nanovirus that could essentially shut down the parts of your brain that make us human and turn us into violent zombies? This image here shows on a molecular level what a nanorobot looks like, attaching itself onto a red blood cell. And by the way it looks, you would probably believe that we should be careful about too much technological advancements with this. The robotic microscopic virus could find its way to reproduce on its own and find its way into our bodies, creating mass hysteria. Many doctors believe that nanorobots could be beneficial to curing diseases and fighting illnesses. But what if, in the process of designing them, they create something horrific? Something that spreads like wildfire, creating a full-scale zombie apocalypse. Robot Language what happens if robots start to speak a different language than English, and we can't figure out what they're going to start plotting next? What if they start making us speak their language to communicate, and Alexa won't respond unless you speak to it in a way that she can understand? Believe it or not, there is already such a thing being developed, and it's known as ROILA, or Robotic Interaction Language. They began to realize that conventional languages that humans speak were a little bit too complicated or confusing for robots to fully understand. Only certain sounds can be picked up by the electrical microphones and the language was simplified in order to avoid some complex nuances. 
Whoa, now that was a cool video. Make sure you guys like, comment, and subscribe, and we'll see you next time.